Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, so now Mike Covinger is reporting that um, Spence is going to fight Pacquiao, and I think it's some validity to that. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate it, the love and support, man. And, um, and yeah, he said last night, but uh, check out the Box Rumor playlist and the Walterway playlist. Um, all right, got something new up here. Okay, uh, let's read it. Okay, he says that um, Jesus. sources um, has informed ESPN and pay and paper and pay per view distributor and demand is exploring a June fifth fight in Abu Dhabi between welterweight. Oh, he said that March thirty. He said a source was proposed. Uh, says dead. Okay, make sure it wasn't nothing new. He said if the deal is completely dead, it's complete. If, if the deal is completed. The fight will be held on ESPN Plus pay per view. Pacquiao signed his contract, but Crawford never. Now it looks like it doesn't matter that Crawford didn't sign. So I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm very confused. I'm just looking at this. So basically, it says the proposed Pacquiao and Crawford fight, what's way fight paid for June 5th, all appears dead after funding from Abu Dhabi investors never came through. Crawford at long left would finally land and lead opponent. Says sources if the deal is if the if the if a deal completed, somebody if a deal completed fight would have headline ESPN. That's a he lying, bro. That nigga lying. Pacquiao didn't sign his contract. He trying to say Bud never. That don't even make sense, bro. That don't even make sense. And, and, and shit like that. That's how I know the motherfucker don't be telling the full truth or he not getting the full truth. I talk to people with close to the situation. Pacquiao never signed a contract. That's a lie. Pacquiao never signed that. Why, why wouldn't Bud sign the contract? You know what I'm saying? So he's saying Crawford never did. Pacquiao never signed a contract. That's a fact. They've been talking about it for weeks. I just told Bushido Boxing, check his channel out. I told him that uh, on his stream a couple of days. That's a lie. These, boy, I'm about to use the wrong word. These white people, these clear people be lying. They be lying, bro. Pacquiao never signed that contract. I promise y'all. He never signed the contract. He was trying to get more money to fight Pac Mikey, Garci Mikey Garcia. He never signed that contract. Commentary be lying, bro. Real talk. That motherfucker be lying like a mofo, bro. But it don't matter, though. It ain't that he lying. He probably, he probably getting bad information. But I think it's validity to that Spencer Ugas situation. Because somebody told me they ain't heard nothing from what happened. I'll tell you. What's it? Boop, 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 boop. They said talk about water. Everybody want to see that bum ass and they'll fight no more. Uh, boop, boop, boop. I can tell this classified information. He said Ugas and Spencer Ugas is going on Fox Review, but I wonder why I haven't heard anything. So that's because he about to fight Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, that's cool with me. I ain't about to be like, here's your boy, blue back, my baby. I ain't no hater, dude. Good, do his thing. But Pacquiao fighting him because it's the most money. It's more money than fighting Mikey Garcia. And it's and it's the less risk. You know what I'm saying? You got a dude that is drained at the weight. And Earl Spence, a guy that's not knocking motherfuckers out no more. A guy that's a soft part, and you know Crawford a soft part too. He can be righty lefty. Hold on. So you know, basically, it's just taking it's taking the easy. If, the, if he not got, if he never got into an accident, he never had. A, if he never struggled versus Sean Porter, he never had. This motherfucker gonna be taking this fight. Pacquiao is the ultimate opportunist, bro. It was a Sean Porter fight that made him a little brave, and it might maybe Mikey. Yeah, Sean Porter did an accident, but it's cool, you know. Hopefully, you know, they do great numbers, and for the most part, you know, it depends. For the most part, Crawford probably going to try to fight Jermaine. That's what I heard. I heard Crawford legitimately moved on from Spence. So, him and Mel, and I think it'd be good for Mel because Mel will probably, probably get an opportunity to get a big money fight. I heard Tony Harrison said, I'm just going to stay at 54, basically the custom. I'm like, shit, ain't no money at 54 unless a welterweight move up. And welterweight's not going to be trying to fight guys like Tony Harrison who don't have a belt. Jerry Hurd knows. Maybe Jerry Hurd because he's easy to beat in some people's mind. But, you know, like I said before, man, um, you know, it's a good fight. I'm not be salty about it because I really don't care no more. If Bud move up and fight, uh, if Bud move up and fight us, uh, Jermaine Charlo, it shall be it. 
If he move up and be the mandatory for WBO, whatever build he got, you know, and Jamil drop it, then we know what time it is. But PBC ain't in the position, you know, not to be doing this. You know, you hear that, um, that, you know, they really make a negotiating with Charlo and Andrade, you know. But like I said before, man, before coming back, you know what time it is, you know. And to the point where they Showtime deal and ESPN, I mean, Fox deal, you know. Fox Showtime, I don't even know Showtime and Channel. Nobody watch Showtime. Showtime should just be like, uh, just do their own app, you know, like uh, HBO Max or or Hulu. I don't, I don't watch Showtime. I know Showtime, I watch people talking about billions. I can live without billions and the rest of those shows. But, I mean, it's a good fight. I know how Pacquiao going to be Spence. He going to turn him. He not going to allow Spence to come forward. You know, he going to turn Spence. He's going to be look like Margarito. I'm not saying Spence is at the point where Margarito was at 50, 50 instead of 54. Or Oscar was at 45 or whatever it was. And he couldn't he couldn't uh, rehydrate or whatever. Or, um, how can I make another example? Um, or Miguel Cotto where, you know, I don't think at that point, but I know Pacquiao thinking. You know, he's going to turn them, throw combinations. You know, he's going to come out hot. He's not going to let Spence come forward. Until like the six, seven round when he ain't got no juice left, no stamina left. That's what it's gonna be. And Earl Spence ain't knocking motherfuckers out no more. That's what he see, you know. And that length is gonna be something for Manny Pacquiao. But if Sean Porter can take away the jab, I can see Manny Pacquiao taking away the jab. You know, you can do it a couple ways. You can jab with him. You come over the top in the jab, and Pacquiao can do that. They both fighting. They both fighting off the the lead right hand. You know, he gonna come over the top. You know, and Pacquiao going to jump in with that left. And the question is, can Spence take it on the chop? We ain't never seen Spence hit by a real puncher, neither is Terrence Crawford. You know, can Spence take it on the chops? And I think Pacquiao, we're going to find out early, I think he's going to go to Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao going to go to a solar plex, to a stomach. And if Spence is, if Spence is you know, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pacquiao or moving backwards, it's a bad sign. And I think Pacquiao going to come out high, do the same thing with Keith Thurman. You know, but I think he going to he gonna hurt Spence with a body shot. Then he's gonna come upstairs. He's gonna win. He's gonna win the first seven rounds. That's what he that's his, I'm not saying he's gonna do that, but that's his objective. When the first six out of seven, five out of seven, you know, steal a couple in the late rounds and beat him. That's what he's gonna do. You know, that's what he's gonna do. And I went right Pacquiao off. And I said that about Terrence Crawford. People saw him. he's just gonna obliterate uh Earl Spence. I don't see out of Terrence Crawford. I don't know. I don't think so. And, you know, one thing about Pacquiao, he ain't fought in 18, 20 months, depending on when they're fighting. But like I said before, I expect Spence to come out on top. Um, it's not gonna be easy though, but I don't think he'll knock Pacquiao out. But like I said before, man, Pacquiao ain't fought in like shit two years. That's gonna be tough. But he need money. And people, I don't know who started the rumor. I know De La Hoya said the other day that Manny Pacquiao couldn't fight in the United States. I don't know who started that rumor. You know, but apparently him and him and uh Bud could be fight. I mean, him and Earl could be fighting in the United States. That's cool. They're gonna do good numbers, and you know. You know, move on. I, you know, I'm to the point where, you know, this point, you know, I don't know if Ugas Bill gonna be on the line or not. I can imagine it is, and Ugas get the, the the winner. I can see that happening, but um, you know, I can see it. Like they tell Ugas, you know, get a build up back to Pacquiao. They fight for three belts. He get the winner. Then Sean get his rematch. Then you might be taking twenty. We're just moving past that, man. It's saying that uh, PBC won't get people to fights. They want to see it, you know. If he move and fight Jamil Charlo, so be it. It's a good fight. I think Jamil would be a, a pretty much heavy favorite knowing that you're moving up to 10-ounce gloves. That's his division, but he ain't unbeatable. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, you can't make no fucking fights. And PBC struggling, and they still don't want to make fights. It's just, it's just Earl Al Heyman just got female tendencies, bro. That's what it is. He got female tendencies, dude. And, you know, it is what it is. Remember, they sent Derbachenko over there. Derbachenko wasn't worth, 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 worth two, man. They sent him over there for five or triple G. But, but you yeah, know, it is what it is. You know, they kind of lie and say, oh, Bud never signed this contract. That's a, that's, I'm looking at it like that's a lie. You know, it's just it's just the same how so many reporters are against him, man. But then most of these, I mean, most of these reporters used to be sucking out Heyman, I mean, sucking Bob Aram's asshole. You know, that's that's a shame, bro, that some of these dudes are so against it. We know Cobb enjoy a little mook. You know, remember him and Fred got into it at the, what was it, the Spence and the um, Sean Porter fight? You know, he went to go snitch on Fred. 
You know, that's not white people do. White people talk all that shit. You know, some not all the way, but some talk all that shit. You be at the baseball game drunk. Talk like then you hear them, they want to go run into the police. You know, that's the type of person Copper Drew is. You know, he's afraid so you ain't gonna talk to me. I'm a black man. Ain't white man gonna tell me what to do or something like that. That shit was hilarious, dog. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, dude. But I mean good for him, man. It's just to the point with boxing, man. Pacquiao win this fight, man. Or if he fight Terrence or whatever, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing. He win this fight, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh. Man, same thing with Terrence. You know, I like Terrence, but if he he loses a 50 year old, 47 year old, what is he? 42 year old man. I'm gonna laugh, man. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on t uh, t t Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group link in the description. All links there. If you need to reach out, if you want to advertise your business on the channel, if you request, you want to shop it up. Links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app TJ Good Three One Three. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best for donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love, love, support. One time for one time, peace. Belief about. No, I'm on the phone. You on the phone? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my baby. No, no, no. No, I ain't yeah, looking at my right? No, no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Man. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't shit. looking at him.